Hey everyone, Mr. Mom Collectibles, and I am back with another video. And today we're going to be counting down the top 10 hot toys in my collection. I want to get this video out at the beginning of 2024 because as new figures and vehicles and other things come into the collection, I know this list is eventually going to probably change a little bit. Some figures are going to come in, some are going to go out. So I figure we start off 2024 with a top 10 video here. Before we get into it, though, I'd really appreciate it if you guys drop a like on this video. It means so much to me as a content creator it means more than anything in terms of donating money or anything of that nature uh just sharing the content that's what really helps youtube get these video out there so drop a like on this video please consider subscribing to the channel if this is in fact your first time and drop a comment below and let me know what your top 10 list is and we'll get right into it with number 10 which is going to be a figure that uh started my whole star wars collecting journey believe it or not star wars was not the first ip i started collecting i was very heavy into marvel a little bit of dc here but when this disney plus show came out it was the first figure i got and really 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 started my perpetual um collecting of star wars figures and uh this is gonna be an interesting one for some but it means a lot to me because that's what this list is going to be about figures that you know some of these figures on the list may be surprising they may not be uh iconic or grails but they mean something to me one way or another and number 10 starting out this list is going to be the og durasteel mando from mandalorian season one i just absolutely love this figure it's a figure like some in this collection you'll see it just catches my eye every time I see it and I'm just drawn to it. I love, love, love the design. I'm so upset that we really didn't see a lot of more of this suit in action. I believe we only saw it for like an episode and a half, but I do love the mismatched style, the ruggedness, bounty hunter type of look this armor gives off to me. Um, it, it, you know, the chrome Mando look is really nice. I do have that figure in the collection as well, but there's just something about the mismatched look of this. It's just really awesome. And it really gives me that whole Western gunslinger vibe um, with the brown, the different details to it so like i said it's something that i really really like a lot this figure here i got uh retail at sideshow i got it just before it went out of stock and i can't get I, I just love this figure i've taken it to mexico with me i've done photo shoots and as you can see here the difference in the armor there's the chrome mando from season two and as great of a look that is and it really stayed consistent uh, to me still the og look just looks awesome and i love the idea of him building up piece by piece and kind of swapping out and upgrading the armor as we went along here and um him going along here with cobb vanth another western look and even cad bane there I did, th these figures just fit and so this is one that i'm so happy that i have in the collection so number 10 for me is the og mando on the list coming in at number nine it's going to be a figure it's an iron man figure but it does have a special place in my heart when it comes to collecting it is the very first Hot Toys figure I ever purchased, and it is the Iron Man Mark 43 from Age of Ultron. Um, this figure, I just love the character. I love the suit design, the mixture of the red and gold. It's still one of the one of the last remaining like original style suits before we really got into a lot of the heavy nanotech. Um, the Robert Downey Jr. face there looks fantastic in there. But like I said, the unboxing experience I had with this being my very first Hot Toy, it just is something, like I said, with this list of top 10, it, some figures just have an emotional connection to when it comes to my collecting journey or they represent you know in my childhood for that matter but between the base the you know the age of ultron uh the, the battle damaged um drone accessory it's just an awesome looking figure overall it's one that you know as a first time uh hot toys purchase this was definitely a banger and it came with so much and I'll never forget the unboxing experience, opening up an Iron Man die cast. Um, it's usually not, you know, not everyone's first uh, Hot Toys figure. Usually you start in a little bit easy, but I definitely jumped in very quickly into the deep end, if you'll say. But this one definitely has a special place in my collection. And I think this is a figure that will always be in my top 10 just because of what it symbolizes to me. Um, but this is going to be the Iron Man Mark 43. Now, the next figure in the collection here is going to be something a little bit interesting. Yeah, and we're going to be moving in. It's definitely a FOMO purchase. It is one of the only figures in my collection, I admit. I definitely got this out of FOMO, and it is the Arena Boba Fett. I knew nothing about the, the uh, Arena Boba Fett, why it was all black. 
uh, came out. It had a lot of talk around it, and I literally pre-ordered it on Sideshow going into it. And this is actually my very first Boba Fett figure. This started the backwards collecting of getting all of the Bobas. I'm missing very few of them now, but I absolutely love this figure. I love the all-black design, just clean, simple, and just a great-looking figure. It's basic. It's just an Empire, you know, uh, Empire Return of the Jedi um, Boba painted black, but still something about it with the spear it's just such a classic looking figure and one day i will own the white prototype to go with this because i think the contrast between black and white is going to look outstanding but this has such a commanding presence in the collection along with all my other boba fets and it shows something that it was a fomo purchase but i am so happy that i have this in the collection it's something i couldn't imagine not having and it is going to be like i said the arena boba fett which is outstanding in my opinion uh, not too long ago, about a month or so after making this video, but I have such an emotional connection to this, to my childhood. If you know, if you've seen my review on this figure, you'll understand. And this is actually the comic book Spider-Man. And like I said, people kind of, you know, bash it a little bit in terms of the overall, you know, aesthetics of the figure. But for me, it's what this figure symbolizes my childhood, the nineties cartoon, the comic books. Um, and that's really what makes this figure in my top 10 like i said it's an emotional connection of what these hot toys do to us they bring us back to our childhood and the figures that we played with when we were younger um versus you know these much more expensive collectibles now but this is an outstanding figure in my opinion i have him displayed here with you see the base that it comes with and i have the 90s cartoon um logo there and that's just my childhood to a T. And so when I saw this figure go for pre-order, as I say in the review, I had to have it just because of the emotional connection that I have to this character, this figure, and what it represents to me when my grandmother bought me all of the uh, the Spider-Man figures, um, you know, as a kid. And so this is just one that I knew I had to have in the collection a minute this thing was announced by Hot Toys. Is it perfect? No, of course not. Nothing is perfect. But for me, it's just like I said, there's such an emotional connection to this figure um there's no way that this one couldn't be in my top 10 so as i said this is the comic book spider-man another figure that i did buy in 2023 that instantly propelled itself into my top 10 figures is which i think is the definitive wonder woman to date in one six scale form and it's from hot toys and it is the wb 100 wonder woman um you know gal gadot is is my is my wonder woman in terms of you know there's not many people that played the role but nevertheless i think she just captures the essence of that character and hot toys has made many versions of this but i do think that this is the greatest hits version is it perfect no it's not but they really encompassed everything and it's a first too and it's cool to have figures that are kind of like the first it's not an artisan figure but definitely it's like kind of the first step in that direction and so i think you know it's a great they took the greatest hits of all the previous figures and kind of put them together to make this and i think it's a home run um you know it's, it's just something really awesome to see i do have other wonder woman figures as well but this is the definitive if you were to have one and are lucky enough to have this because like i said it was a limited piece but i just love the presence that this figure has adding it to my you know my trinity of dc characters you know batman and superman There's just everything about this figure i love the wool hair and it really held up in terms of a condition i really haven't touched the hair at all since getting the figure but the sword the shield everything about this the display that it comes with it just has such a commanding presence in the collection and like i said if you were to own one wonder woman this is definitely the the figure to get but because of that exclusivity it made it a little difficult to get but um i was able to get this uh as a day one um overseas just because it's a figure that i knew i had to have in the collection that instantly and that there's a connection to it when i saw it um that i knew it was gonna be a sought after piece i felt so it's something that i had to have in the collection and just like i said the overall look of the character and like i said it's a fantastic piece to have so the next figure now, how could it top the WB100 Wonder Woman? Well, for some, it's a grail. This was a grail for me. Head sculpt, I think, is fantastic. It's one of the best head sculpts that I've seen on a Hot Toys figure. And sometimes the oldies just, you can't beat them. And this is the Harley Quinn from the original Suicide Squad. Um, I, I just, I, I'm not really huge, you know, the movie's okay, but I think Margot Robbie just captures the essence of that character. Um, she's another one that, like, it's hard to think of anyone else not doing it but her. And it, this just carrot this figure is just outstanding. And when I had the opportunity to go back and kind of backwards collect a couple of grails last year, this is one that I had to have in the collection. And getting it in person, it just lived up to the expectations. I love the design of the outfit. The sculpt is unbelievable. It's outstanding in person. 
and it just captures the essence like i said of the character and that's what's most important and you know between the bat this is the special edition but uh it's just one that i instantly fell in love with knew i had to have it and it lived up to the expectations that i had for this character and the hot toys just something about some of these older figures is just this figure is better than half the new ones that are out there um and you want the gun the pose it's it's just such an awesome iconic uh piece there's been other harley quinns but to me this is the definitive version to have um, if you're lucky enough to find one of these, um, it's just the Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Old, iconic, uh, grail status for that matter. Another figure that I got in 2023, fortunate enough to, to track down in great condition, which is the Obi-Wan Kenobi from A New Hope. This is my one and only uh, A New Hope character. I don't have anything else from the series, but um, this is another one that kind of fell into my lap of having the opportunity to get uh and in really good condition as well uh it's just this is a head sculpt that the figure it's got it's over 10 years plus and it's still better than probably 90 percent of the hot toy sculpts that are made even to date it is it's just unbelievable i mean anyone who talks about this figure even if the sculpt is usually in everyone's top five or top 10 head sculpts of all time that hot toys has made and it's quite unbelievable how the figure has held the test of time for as old as it is and uh simplicity is key with this very simple pose i didn't want to overextend any of the joints or anything like that but it's such an iconic piece and if you're a star wars fan i mean i feel like you know i think a new hope although new hope's not my favorite star wars movie some of the most fantastic characters and designs i love some of the original designs to those characters darth vader the stormtroopers i will eventually probably go back and get a couple of more new hope figures but for me if you were to have one figure from that series it's got to be maybe a loop but obi-wan's got to be up there so this is one that um i can't see not being in the collection at this point but a new hope obi-wan kenobi is next on the list we're into the top three and number three occupying that spot is another iron man figure but unfortunately there's just no way i could have excluded this um iron man is my all-time favorite movie it's still better than i think 80 percent of the, the marvel movies have been put out since then and of that movie the most iconic armor in my opinion is my favorite which is the iron man mark three and i was fortunate enough to get this 2.0 version from hot toys and it once again talk about living up to expectation yes it's another iron man but nothing beats the original seven suits and when they made the mark three um it would have been a disservice to myself as a collector if i didn't get this suit i mean my favorite movie my favorite armor and having the ability to get it is just something that i couldn't pass up and when i got this the unboxing experience i never filmed a review on it because i wanted this to be a personal unboxing experience i didn't want to rush it for the sake of making a video so i opted just to not make one there was enough reviews out but the head sculpt i think is amazing and just you know not much to say i mean it's an iron man figure but there's just something about it the connection to this and it's just something that i'm so happy to have in the collection and fortunate enough that you know be able to collect the original seven suits i mean as a collector coming in late in the game um, being that having the opportunity to get these 2.0s is just something to jump on. And so, like I said, you know, your favorite, you know, there's not often that you get the chance in six scale form to get, you know, a character from a favorite movie of yours. And when that opportunity comes, it's hard to pass up as a collector personally. So this one had to be in the collection and it's such a, has such a commanding presence for me that it was definitely up there. The Iron Man Mark three. All right. So number two, if you know me, eighties pop culture, I had to throw it in there. Um, surprisingly, maybe for some, it's not number one, but number two is the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman. This figure is just, I mean, I'm not, I'm at a loss for words of what I can even say at this point. I mean, Batman's one of my all time favorite movies. Michael Keaton's my favorite Batman. I mean, I've said it time and time again. I'm probably, you're probably sick of hearing it from me, but, um, you know, this was, uh, it's used, it's probably my third or fourth all-time hot toy I bought. Um, I bought a couple new ones and then I jumped into this. So my first Grail original, um, and it's just an outstanding figure. And I'm so excited for the 2.0 and for collectors who missed out on this. I never thought Hot Toys could really improve on this. I thought the figure was perfect. It does have a custom cape. Aside from that, I thought the figure was perfect. But I'm really looking forward to all the minor upgrades they did on the 2.0 and comparing them. It's just such an iconic figure that for me... Um, 
you know, it's an it's an amazing piece of pop culture. Eighty nine Batman is just a cult classic. It's just an amazing movie, and so to get this figure, you know, in one six scale form is outstanding. And I'm welcoming the two point oh edition that will be coming out, hopefully in twenty twenty four with no delays. Um, you know, we can never have enough Michael Keaton personally. And so number two in my list, and it's hard to believe, and there's the cape, and the, and the condition of the figure is great for used. Uh, the suit and everything holds up fantastic. Um, but uh, this is number two on my list of all-time figures, which is, like I said, 1989, Michael Keaton. And what could be number one? What could trump this, right? What could? Well, it's a figure that every time I look at my collection, I just keep looking back at it. It catches my eye, catches my attention. It's a figure that I didn't think would be my number one to be honest with you, but I'm lying to myself if I didn't say. Um, I try pushing other figures ahead of it. I try, you know, oh, well, no, me, no this is definitive, definitively my number one figure in my collection. It's been that way for over a year, year and a half, and nothing has taken this top slot yet. Um, maybe this year when newer figures come out, but still nothing beats a classic, and this is the die-cast RoboCop from RoboCop 1. Um, I do have the part three version. I did a review on that one, but still nothing beats the original. Um, it just has such an amazing, I think it's a perfect figure. The face plate appear well, it looks perfect. Um, the poses look great on it. I mean, you could pose this thing. This is kind of a, a RoboCop pose here, not trying to overextend anything, but the shelf presence alone die cast it's a heavy boy i know they make plastic versions of this but there's just something about this figure it's kind of you know and robocop is one of my four pillars of my childhood along with ghostbusters back to the future 89 batman and so this was another figure that i got pretty early on when i was collecting had the opportunity to get it it is used but i got it in pretty much immaculate condition and so it's a figure that every time i look at my my collection it still catches my eye every single time. And if you missed out on this one, you know, Hot Toys gave you another chance with the RoboCop Part 3 with the jetpack. I know a lot of collectors are stripping that one down and, um, you know, making that the RoboCop 1, which is nothing wrong with that. Absolutely another way to go. But there you have it, guys. It's my top 10 list of Hot Toys. Definitely could change down the road when new figures are coming in. But let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are, what your top 5, top 10, top 1 is even. Make sure to drop a like on this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel if this is, in fact, your first time. And I really do appreciate the support, as always. And just remember, it's your collection. Collect your way, as Nate from Geeking Out always says. And until then, everybody, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a great day.